Hey everybody, Kyle here with Spicer Designs. Today I am expecting a delivery uh, with a new tool that we'll be getting for the shop. Oh. Oh. Damn it, X tool. UPS got me again. Welcome back to the channel. Well, looks like it arrived sooner than I thought it was going to. So if everything still works, we'll try it out. Now you will notice behind me a plethora of lasers, all different types. We've got the X-Tool S1 diode laser, my favorite. We have the X-Tool P2, this is a CO2 laser, very nice machine. Machine. This is one of my first or second lasers, the Ortur desktop laser. Don't use it much anymore, but it has its purpose. And then I just did a couple of videos on these two mod ports. These are CO2 lasers and the can of Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop. Now I need a beer to wash it down. But there's one type of laser that I do not have, or did not have, until now. And this laser I've been very, very curious about. I'm gonna be figuring this thing out today and sharing that information with you. And here it is. This is X-Tool's newest fiber laser, the F1 Ultra. This is actually the beta version of it. I believe I may be one of the first people to get my hands on one of these things. So this is breaking news. It should be actually on the news tonight. All right, so let's take a look at this stuff. The F1 Ultra slides up. The lens in this thing is up underneath here, shoots down onto this base, which you can mount different things and jigs to it. It's got a bunch of threaded holes in it. And then it also comes with this little cutting bed right here. Of course, the power supply the exhaust vent, little material pack. Then you have a couple things here in this box, different tools and jigs and some other crap, and the touchscreen. X-Tool also sent a push button switch, pedal switch, and a little material pack. This is actually has quite a bit of stuff in it. And in the back, there is a conveyor for this thing, which I was not aware of. You can also use this conveyor if you wanna start your own grocery store. It will work perfectly for that as well. And of course, we're gonna be using the X-Tool air purifier. I love that thing. I use it when I weld. I use it on the plasma table. It works really well. So I am going to get everything set up here, do a little testing. I have no idea how to use this thing. I've never used a fiber laser before. I'm definitely curious to see what all the hype's about. You see these things advertised everywhere. I could use this thing as a microwave. This might be used. What the f is this thing? All right, I think I have everything set up here. I went through the manual. Tells you everything to do, all the steps to get everything connected. So I have my laptop set up. I have the new beta version is what it's saying. Uh, the X-Tool Creative Space, I've got that downloaded. Then I've got the USB hooked up right there. We've got the touch screen right here connected. Power supply. We've got the vent hooked up to the smoke purifier. And we have the key installed right there. The only other thing is we have to remove the lens cover, which it just pulls off. That's important. And let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Oh boy. Pretty fancy. Firmware updating, go figure. All right, I'm gonna get all this stuff going and we'll check back here and actually run some test material and just see what this thing's all about. All right, I have everything set up. I did a couple test runs on this. A couple things you need to know right off the bat. In order to use the F1 Ultra, you are gonna need to download the latest version of Xtools Creative Space, which I will leave a download link for that down in the description. Number two, once you get that downloaded, you're gonna need to connect the F1 to the Xtool Creative Space software, which is super easy. And once you do that, it's gonna guide you through the steps to calibrate the laser. It's really easy to do, it takes like five minutes. Once you've done that, you're ready to go. Okay, let's talk about the laser. Now that I have somewhat of a handle on this thing, and just to be clear, I'm not an expert. This is my first time using a fiber laser, let alone X-Tool's newest version of it. They do have the F1, which is the original version. This is larger. This laser is the world's first dual laser technology, so this has a 20 watt diode laser and a 20 watt fiber laser all in one, which is pretty cool. It can cut materials. Uh, basically, from what I've seen, the 
different materials are going to use the different lasers. So like your wood, acrylic, leather, some things like that, you're going to use the diode laser. And then when you get into more of the metals, you'll be using the fiber laser. And all those settings are very clearly laid out for you in Creative Space. We are going to be doing some further testing with this laser with like the rotary tool and we'll be using the conveyor in another video. I want to first get familiarized with the laser and what it can do before I start using all the attachments. So we will talk about that in a future video. It's honestly a really cool laser for all around use. If you don't have a lot of space, this thing can do a lot. It's very clean engraving from what I've done so far. This dual laser is probably ideal for customizing anything. So pretty good route to go if you're looking to start your own business. All right, on to some testing. They give us a ridiculous amount of test materials in this little, what is it called? X2 F1 Ultra KOL material pack. Tons and tons of different little objects to engrave on. We'll go through it real quick here. These are some kind of I don't know what the hell that is, but it's metal. We've got some rings, which you can engrave on the inside or outside. Very small detail, pretty cool. Got some little necklaces with just like this flat bar on it. This little rose gold necklace right here. I actually engraved one of these for the Keystone Girl last night and I put our two daughters' names on two sides and our two dogs' names on two sides and damn near brought her tears, so that was a good one. I earned some brownie points there. We've got a bunch of like rose gold dog tags. And you've got these stone coasters with the little rubber pads on the bottom. We're gonna try one of these. You've got some dog tags, actual dog tags. And there's a, there's a stack of them in here. So we're gonna do one of these for Dozer, the new pup. Doorknobs, I guess. More jewelry. I don't know what the hell you use these for. Some like coins, like collector coin type things. This is like a rose gold one and this is like a gold. And then we've got a bunch of these wood keychains. We're gonna do one of these because you know I love keychains. Not really, they're just a easy thing to make. I think this is a loincloth, I'm not sure. Doesn't quite fit, but I'll give it a try tonight. And these little AirPod cases, these are just like a dummy AirPod. They, they're not actual AirPods. Just gives you an example to see if you can actually customize them. So oh, I guess we can give that a try too, these are plastic. Okay, so we will try out some of these different materials. I'm gonna show you exactly how to get everything set up on the F1 Ultra, between the software and the laser, should be pretty easy. It's not gonna be super boring and, and detailed. That software is just like really user-friendly, which I've probably already said 15 times. It's friendly for the user. It's easy to use for beginners, for anybody. All right, first up is the little dog tag. You might be hard for you to see, but there is a red and blue dot those two dots are supposed to be overlapping each other. That's when the laser is focused, but we'll determine that in a second on the software. It'll, it'll focus this. We're gonna use this little L that they give you. It's like a jig with a couple of thumb screws. We're just going to screw it right here. And this is really nice for batching because you can just keep, if I wanna make a hundred of these, I can just take it, put it right there, push it into the corner, engrave on it, pull it out, do the next one. For right now, we're gonna find the distance we need to find the thickness of that material. So we're gonna move it over underneath those two laser dots. All right, now we're gonna hop on x -Tool Creative Space. You can see right here, I'm already connected to the F1 Ultra. Very easy. User defined material. Uh, we're going to see what they have in their library. Anodized aluminum bone. They have the exact thing, which is kind of cool. They have a bit of a library with Xtool with all of their test materials. So they have enough test materials that you can kind of get a feel for almost any project that you're doing and, and have a pretty close setting. So we'll click the anodized aluminum bone. And then we're gonna click right here, the measure tool, very similar to like the S1 and the P2, it measures it for you. So we'll hit that. Please connect the device, it is connected. What the f are you talking about? We'll connect. All right, we were not connected. Now we're connected. All right, so we have our anodized bone. We're gonna click this little measuring tool right here. And you see the light went off. This head moves down and it calculated the thickness of the material, which is 0.7 millimeters. And now we just hit refresh the camera. So this thing does have a built-in camera in it. That's how you place your material. You get that placement just right for your design. And you can see right there, the bone and our little jig. And I'm gonna move this bone over now into the jig. 
moving the bone in the jig. You need to put the bone in the jig. All right, we're going to refresh again. There's our bone. Now here is the machine design, my, my machine logo, which is trademarked. I'm not gonna go into the details on how to get your design and all that. I've went over that in other videos. It's really easy. So we're just going to show you how to actually get the design onto the object. So we're gonna click this. I have it set to engrave and all of the settings here are already calculated because of the predetermined settings in Creative Space for the black anodized bone. So basically I'm just going to take this, shrink it down and well, it's kind of hard to see there. I'm going to do our dog's name. So right now I have that selected and I don't have it outputting. I'm gonna just hit text, click right here, and I'm gonna put Dozer. I actually like that font, so screw it, we'll use that. It's set for score right now. I'm going to engrave it, shrink it down a little bit, shrink it down a lot. Now one thing you could do is it's gonna be this really skinny font. So I can go right here and unlock it, and then I can kind of stretch this thing out and make it fill that little bone a little better. I think that's good, it's hard to see. I wanna make that, there we go, nice and tight on there, just so we can see just how accurate. So one thing you can do, see if when I'm moving this, how it wants to snap into place, but it's kind of not allowing me to like really fine tune it. You can go up here into settings and you can turn off auto snapping. And that will allow, well for one, I should also zoom in on this. That would make sense. Now I can move it around without it snapping in place. All right, that looks, Pretty damn close, let's go for it. So this is selected to output, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and hit process, start, and I'm going to turn on the smoke purifier. We have suction. You can see right here on the touchscreen display, it's got our design in there. And then since we already hit start on the software, all we have to do is hit this green X tool button right here, spans all the way across the screen, and it will start the engraving. And just watch how ridiculously fast this thing is. This is not sped up. And that's it. Crazy. Okay, next one, let's try this stone coaster. This is like a piece of like slate. So we'll do the machine logo on here, see how it does. All right, I'm going to actually use the jig just to square it up. I do like this little jig. I think I just like saying jig. Now the last thing I want to try is cutting. So I have some three millimeter basswood, pretty common for laser engraving. So I want to actually do an engraving on this and go ahead and cut out the wood as well. Now this is a special project I'll be working on in a future video for another YouTuber. You may recognize his channel, Back 40 Firewood. Great channel. Go check it out, subscribe, all that good stuff. But we are doing a kind of a collaboration with some giveaways involved in it. So 
be looking forward to that video. It should be coming up here pretty soon. But I want to test out the design using the fiber laser to see which laser is going to be best fit for this project or machine. Machine. And you can see right here, this one is the F1 Ultra and this is the X-Tool S1. Now this does have somewhat of a clear stain on it, so it kind of pops a little bit more. Not that I couldn't get similar results with the F1 Ultra, but I think I'm going to use the S1 for that project. Back 40 firewood, check them out. The other thing is when it cut, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the one right here is the F1 Ultra. There's actually a slight bevel on that all the way around where the S1 is nice 90 degree cut. And the reason for that is the F1 Ultra or most fiber lasers, they don't have an X and Y axis that they're moving on back and forth. They have kind of a central location in that lens and it kind of not really, it doesn't give you a fisheye effect. When it engraves, you don't notice it, but when it's cutting, you may be able to see that slight little angle or bevel in the cut. And again, I'm not an expert on these things. This is uh, all things that I'm learning as I'm making this video. Some of it's pretty self-explanatory. All right, so that's gonna wrap up the introduction of the X-Tool F1 Ultra to our shop here. I am pretty excited to have that in the shop and incorporate that into some of my metalworking projects. Now that I've used one, I get what all the hype's about. Very clean engraving, very small detail, and the ability to engrave on different metals is a plus as well. So again, more future videos on this thing. We'll be using the conveyor, the rotary tool. I'd like to see how it does on the tumblers and which I have sitting right over here. We just did this tumbler a couple of videos ago using the S1, which we will be picking a winner for this very soon in one of our little hillbilly live streams, along with the machine hats and honestly, probably give away everything that we did here except for the dozer. I don't think anyone wants our dog's name on a little dog tag. We don't need to give away this stupid little metal business card. We'll give away the machine coaster. It's actually pretty cool. So if you want to win this coaster, comment X-Tool F1 Ultra and you will be entered. This is at least a $5,000 value, maybe a $5 value. Actually, it's priceless. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you are interested in this fiber laser or any fiber laser, that's what these videos are about, to give you information. It's not supposed to be an ad or a commercial for it. It's uh, getting information on a laser that is very expensive. And a lot of people, including myself, don't want to dish out thousands of dollars on something that they haven't even seen work. So that is the point of these videos. So go check out the X-Tool F1 Ultra on X-Tool's website. I'll have a link for that down in the description. I'll pin one in the comments as well. I believe that my promo code is active with the Ultra. It'll save you like 80 or 90 bucks for any purchase over $1,000. It's not much, but every little bit helps. And I'll leave that information in the description as well. So if you like this one, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Don't forget to comment to win the machine coaster. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one, maybe. Or you may unsubscribe, I don't freaking know. It's just hard to tell anymore. Now I gotta clean all this up. This thing really is pretty damn cool. I will definitely be using it. Start making my own business cards, except they're like razor blades. So that'll be a lawsuit. I also thought you could engrave on your keys to say house, barn, moped, if you got a couple DUIs. <laughs> oh, God. I need to freaking organize this better. Something's changed on the camera. I don't know what it is. Something changed. It's pissing me off.